Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on Technical C by Shravan Kumar Mantri. Now we'll see the questions one by one with execution and output. So the first question, printing the digits and count of a number. So let us take an example. I'll take a number like where n is equals to 523. If I take what are the digits in this, so I can say that it is 5, 2 and 3 or else 3, 2, comma and 5. So like this also I can say, so I want to print those digits. How to print those digits? So here what is my logic is, whenever I want to, let us suppose I want to print from the right side. So how to get the digits 3 here? So how to get a digit 3 or else how to get the digit which is in one's position of any number? That means when you divide a number with 10, what will be the remainder? Let us suppose 523 if I divide with 10. What will be the remainder? I can see that, say that 3. I'm talking about remainder. I'm not talking about quotient. I'm talking only about remainder. So even if you take any number, if I take 28, 28 percentile 10, what is the answer? 8. That means when you divide any number with 10, the remainder will be your last digit. So I'll get that digit. So I'll print that digit. So that I'll get the ones position. How to get the tens position digit and hundreds position digit like this? So that means what I need to do is, anyway first n value is 523, then I am getting the digit as 3, if I divide with 10, the remainder is 3. Now if I have the number, the remaining other than 3, that means 52, if I divide again with 10, what will be the remainder? Again I will get the next, that is on the last, last digit which is 2. So that means how 523 I can convert it into 552. How to convert? Let us suppose if n is 5, 523, so 523 by 10, that means if I divide by 10, divide with 10, what will be the quotient? Of course it is integer, I am not talking about floating point, I am talking about integer. So 523, if I divide with 10, the answer will be 52. You will get these digits. So that means our conclusion is, if I divide with 10, the remainder will be the last digit and the quotient will be the remaining digits other than last digit. So this logic I want to use and I want to print each digit in a in each iteration. So I'll write the code first and I'll check it out. Anyway, the this code block compiler by default it takes the header files that are hash include stdio.h. So no need to write, it's optional. So that's why I'm skipping that. So I'll take a number n and I want to give it as input that is by scanf percent ld comma and percent n. Now after giving a number what we require first. So I want to divide with 10 and I want to get the remainder. So that's why n percent l 10 I want to store this number in a particular variable which is equals to r. That means r equals to which is a remainder when I divide with 10. So I'll keep like this and then I want to print that digit. So I'll keep some slash in here. Percent ld comma r. So after getting a remainder, now I want to take the quotient part and I want to update it with n only. So that's why I'll take n is equals to n by 10. So n is equals to n by 10. So that means our n value will be updated. I explained now 523. I get the remainder as 3. I'll print it and after that 523 by 10 which is 52. Now n value is 52. Now I want to do the same iteration process. That means 52 percent L10. So how to make the same iteration process? That means I need to use a one loop. Here I'll use while loop. While this process has to be repeated when it has to be stopped. That means 52 percent L10 I'll get 2. So then 52 by 10 it will become 5. Next 5 percent L10 5. So 5 by 10 0. That means until 0 you have to do. That means while n is not equals to 0 you have to apply this process so that's why this while loop will be closed here now if you want you can observe you can trace it 
what happens how it will be printed 523 is non zero yes 523 percentile 10 which is 3 you will, you will print that 3 next 523 by 10 which is 52 now n value is 52 is 52 non zero yes 52 percentile 10 2 r equals 2 will be printed next n value 52 by 10 5 so now 5 is non zero yes true 5 percentile 10 see 5 percentile 10 is 5 only it's like when you want to divide a new when you want to divide a numerator with denominator if numerator is less than the denominator the remainder is numerator itself let us suppose if i say 9 percentile 10 9 only the answer 11 percentile 15 11 only the answer like this so if numerator is less than the denominator numerator it will itself is the direct remainder so like this so that's why here 5 percentile 10 is 5 only then 5 printed and what is 5 by 10 0 only so it won't go it, 10 into 1 is 10 so that's why 10 into 0 0 that's why 5 by 10 which is 0 so n value is 0 then it comes out of the while loop and it ends so now we'll see what are the other variables to be declared here r is to be declared that's it so now if we execute this one we'll see the output So I'll take a number, let us suppose 2578. So the digits are 2578. Anyway, it will print in reverse. That is first in one's position, 8, next 7, next 5, next 2. Like this, it will be printed. Now we'll go to the next one. Second one, print the sum of the digits of a number. How to get the sum of the digits of a number? I'll go to the previous program so this is a program first we executed now where you want to get what are the digits in a number now in this what i'll update is whenever i get a remainder remainder in the sense it is a digit is that right so that digit i'll take and i'll make it sum that means i'll make s equals to s plus what is the remainder i have to make it and where s is initialized to zero here count is not required s equals zero is required and every time i'll do all these digits okay and now what i'll what happens after the while loop after the while loop you will get sum of the digits now i want to print that sum so here i want to print that sum which is the variable value s now you can see how it will be executed let us suppose if i give 524 524 means the sum will be 4 plus 2 plus 5 which is 11 so it takes 524 is non-zero s you will get the remainder as r equals to 4 so s initially what is s initial value zero this is must so zero plus five so zero plus four that is four next digit you will get it as two four plus two six and next digit you will get it as five so totally six plus five eleven you will get here so s value will be eleven so like this very simple you can do from the previous program so you can see the output now and you can observe what are the modifications you have done s equals to s plus r newly introduced and the printf statement you have written outside with instead of r you have written with s so that is what i want to connect one program to the another so let us suppose i'll give a number like 35467 so what is the output you can see the sum of all the digits is 25 so like this easily you can get the answer for this one now coming to the next one fourth question sum of even digits and odd digits of a number separately what is even and odd let us suppose if i give this number 25647 now what are the even digits in this so 2 6 and 4 are even digits 7 and 5 are odd digits now we need to first sum it up separately so 2 plus 6 plus 4 which is 12 and of course odd digits are 5 7 the sum is 12 of course here in this case both are equal the sums that also will make it so first we'll make the sum separately and also we'll make another constraint of course in the question it is not given but we'll make the constraint whether both are equal or not both the sums are equal or not that also we will see here so first thing how to do this one how to get a remainder that means a digit which is even or odd 
so this is very simple like if any digit if you divide with two the remainder will be zero for even digit for odd digit it is one so that constraint i want to apply here so which program i'll take i'll take the program where which is the first question so i'll take this one here i want two sums not only one sum sum of even and sum of odd so s1 for sum of let us suppose even and s2 for sum of odd and after that i'll take a number n and i'll after getting the remainder i'll give a constraint what is that constraint if your remainder whatever the remainder you are getting if i divide with if i divide with 2 if it is equals to 0 then i can say it is a sum of even so it is even digit that's why i'll make sum of even that's why s1 equals to s1 plus r else so what it is else else means if it is not even definitely it is odd so that's why odd sum i'll take it as s2 is equals to s2 plus r so this will be made and find anyway any equals to n by 10 has to be done for every next digit now what you need to print outside so you need to print what two sums that means one is s1 other one is s2 so i'll want to print this two s1 comma s2 so s1 is a sum of even and s2 is a sum of odd digits now the constraint is anyway first i'll execute this one afterwards i'll make the another constraint any variables to be declared extra no so i'll take the same example 25467 So the even digits are two, four, six, which is sum is twelve, and odd digits are seven, five. The sum is also twelve. You can see the sums twelve and twelve. Now we'll check it out whether these sums are equal or not. So what is the constraint I'll give? I'll write here if your S one is equals to S two, you can say that both sums are equal. else of course we can write it as not so like this like this we need to include so 12 and 12 both the sums are equal anyway i'll give here slash n so that this output will be printed in the next line So here also you can see two six four are even, so that's why twelve order five seven. So both are equal. You can take another also. I'll take something like six seven five four. So the six plus four is ten. Seven plus five is twelve. So ten and twelve both are not equal. So like this you can write the programs.